Welcome back to Street Beat. I'm your host, Amir Makepson. The Detroit Waldorf School provides innovative teaching that is designed to cultivate a student's inherent curiosity and love for learning. They're here to tell us a little bit about a special workshop that they're planning to help parents simplify their family life is the Director of Enrollment and Outreach at the Detroit Waldorf School, Cheris Calendar Sumnik. I got it. Yes. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Thanks. So you know, much. I I have driven by your school a thousand yeah. times and never really knew too much about it. Give us an overview of, of, of Waldorf. Sure. So uh, we are celebrating our 50th year in, in the city and in, in the historic Indian village. And the unique thing about Detroit Waldorf School is we offer a holistic model of education. So we're not only interested in the academic health of the child, but the social and emotional health of the child and also the physical development. So that's kind of an interesting uh, philosophy in this day and age where we're with this focus on social, emotional and um, the physical development as well. We also infuse the arts into our academics. So mm -hmm. all of our academics have this rich Rich artistic um, uh, component built into the curriculum. You're interested in the whole child. Whole child, yes. You know, some of these, the, the creative things, the arts and the drama and the music that some mm -hmm. people don't really think is that important when you consider other problems is extremely important and people don't understand that. Yeah, it actually helps build all of these other capacities for children. So, you know, there's a lot of talk about how if you play a musical instrument that your math competency is really raised mm -hmm. at that time too. So instead of cutting art programs, we need to put in more because it's actually helping children become more proficient. And my understanding is it helps with things like conflict resolution. Well, of course, you know, if you're singing together with your classmates, playing musical instruments, you know, that's a place where people can come together around something joyful. Mm -hmm. How can parents simplify their family lives? Because life is so fast-paced and complicated now. It's craziness. How can you simplify that? Yeah, well, you know, we're bringing the speaker, Kim John Payne, to our school in March. And he, he wrote a book called Simplicity Parenting, which is a New York Times bestseller. Mm-hmm. For many years and he talks a lot about parents being present with their children so unplugging from the constant cell phones and you know just really being there with uh, their children and um, he also talks about decluttering the environment so especially in a child's room having so many toys and so many choices you know we live in a world where there's a million choices, you know, uh, with us. That, and you can imagine how children must feel, you know, with bombarding, being bombarded with all of these choices. So he talks a lot about just really simplifying the environment, which you I know, think again, is important. You know, again, and we did a segment earlier, but again, sometimes these answers are so simple and we complicate yes. things so that it, just, it goes right by us. Yeah, you know, It's just craziness. Um, education is just in such a shambles today. Uh, what do you think? Or Do you have a kind of prediction or so many people are really trying to pick it up and run with it and make some changes mm. that that I think and hope would be successful. Where are you on that scale? Well, in the climate of high stake testing, you know, this is why we're bringing the speaker in because the stress levels of children these days are really elevated. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of um, physicians that talk about cortisol levels in children. And we really want to bring those down so that, you know, this really impedes their learning if they're anxious about taking a test or there's too much going on or, or the children are overscheduled, you know, just after school, they have all of these activities of yeah, that they have to do. And so this speaker and even what we promoted our school is just really, you know, taking a step back and simplifying that, you know, it's so important. And if the yeah. parent can just spend a few minutes, read a book, spend the time, enjoy the companionship, mm -hmm. uh, it would make such such a difference. Uh, yes, is there a I typical uh, child who goes to Waldorf? We have all children. <laughs> yeah, every, that goes, everybody. Yeah, that go to Waldorf. Uh, some parents say, well, you know, my child's not creative. This is so art, you know, based. Well, we, we believe every child is creative and that, you know, that and they that's can... the truth in many ways. Yes, yes. Can anybody come to your, your event that's coming up? 
Yeah, actually, we received a grant to bring uh, Kim John Payne to uh -huh. Detroit Waldorf School. So the event is free and open to the public. And on Friday, March 11th, he will be lecturing on his book, Simplicity Parenting. And then the next day on Saturday, March 12th, he will um, present workshops on how to make a doable plan on how to simplify your family's life. And of course, we can take a look at your website and yes. find out how to, how to get this book yes. and hopefully simplify our lives and simplify the lives of our children. Yes. Uh, that would be very uh, terrific. For I think all it of helps us. the adults as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know it helps the adults as well. Cheers, yeah. thank you very much. I hope you have Thanks a successful event and, uh, and that Waldorf continues to prosper. Aww. Thanks for talking thank with us you. about it. Thank so you. If you'd like for more information, visit their website or give them a call. That's our show for today. Thank you for joining us. I hope you'll join us again next week. Until then, have a great weekend.